In one way or the other, every interview will have the tell me about yourself question. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to build a good answer so you can shine in your next interview with confidence. Hi, it's Lassie Albin. Welcome to my channel where I share weekly tips and advice on how to accelerate your career. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below. Yes, we've all been there. Another interview hotspot for the position that we really like. And we know what's coming. The mother of all interview questions. And an easy start for the interviewer. Tell me about yourself. Take me through your background. Who is Stephanie? The question will come in different variations, but the core is the same. Tell me about yourself. Now, before we craft a good answer, let's quickly understand why the interviewer is asking this question in the first place. This is an important thing, as this is a big question, and your answer sets the tone and paves the way for the rest of the interview. Let's get to the mind of the interviewer. For him or her, this question is a great way to one, get a general snapshot of you, your potential fit, your communication style, and your preparation level. It gives the interviewer time to get their hands around you as a candidate, to start building a mental profile of you. Second, they gain an understanding of your competence and knowledge as it relates to the position. The interviewer can analyze how well you can pack your relevant experience in a concise story and serve it to the interviewer. How well can you tick their requirements and their boxes already at the beginning of the interview? So those are the reasons why this question is on the cards of the interviewer. As with all my interview tips, tips videos, we will first check out the don't do's of the answer. And they are the following. Number one, don't get lost for 10 minutes telling your whole life story. This is very easy to do once you get rolling on the wrong path. This follows if you haven't practiced well enough. You just get carried away and start panicking as your answer has no end. With a practiced answer, you should be able to give a good answer in two to three minutes, no more. Number two, don't get into personal or family matters. This question is meant to be a story style answer about your professional experience and capabilities. In cross-cultural environments, it is useful to mention where you grew up and in which countries you have lived during your life. In case you've lived in one country only, you should move directly into your work background. However, in case you grew up on a cool husky farm in Siberia and then you made your move into studies and into corporate career, I would definitely like to hear that mentioned briefly. But it needs to be something off the beaten track. Otherwise, stick with the professional story. Number three, don't go into an interview and think you can just wing it on the spot with a free flowing story about your background. The story needs to be tailored to fit the employer and the job, the job description requirements. We shall talk about this in a bit. So now we know why the question is being asked and what are the absolute no-goes. We're ready to move into crafting a good answer that you can use as a base for all your future interviews. The answer structure goes as the following. Number one is the start. My career started six years ago with da da da. Or in case you have an interesting early years background, I was born and raised in La Rioja, Spain, where our family runs a commercial vineyard. So from the early years, I was involved in our business, learning all aspects of making wine. From there, I left to do my studies in Madrid and started my first full-time positions at mm -hmm. and a special note here for the recent graduates this question will still come but of course you have limited previous work experience 
Then you can craft your answer around topics like where you come from, what activities highlighted your youth, like sports, family, business, etc. Why you entered certain studies and what you're naturally good at. Second part is the middle. Once you have decided on your type of start, you move to the middle part of the answer. You will give a small summary of all your relevant work experience. For example, if you have worked for three different companies a total of eight years, you will start with the first job that you had and then tell the story all the way to your most recent position. You need separate work experience, make sure to provide the following information. Company name and working country, in case you have an international career. What business are they in? Unless you work for a company like Coca-Cola or Toyota. What was your position? What duties did you perform? Tasks, projects, teams, P&L responsibility, and so on. And highlight one key achievement, ideally increasing results or reducing costs. Then you repeat this process for all those three companies. Storytelling is important here as it makes the answer sound less robotic and less like reading a CV. The key is to highlight advertised position relevant skills and experience. This is what they're looking for. For example, in this operations manager job description, they're looking for experience in the blue circle tasks and responsibilities. They include develop and improve strategies to make more money, manage operations, and deal with logistics partners. As a profile, they look for analytical skills, operations backgrounds, KPI-linked working style, and two languages. You might not have all of them, but make sure to bring, bring out all the experience that you, that you do have that hits the experience thereafter. So your example answer could look something like this. My career started eight years ago in London with a food delivery service company, Bring It Home, where I started as an operations specialist. The company was growing very fast and I had the chance to be involved in operations planning, deep data analysis and project management related to expansion to further cities. It was a fast paced and occasionally hectic environment, but provided great exposure to operations management. I'm especially proud of an analytics dashboard that I built from scratch, delivering six digit productivity gains over 12 months. After three years in this position, I was promoted to the position of a project lead for a new city expansion. I was in charge of the whole planning and rollout, leading a team of five people. This was also the time when I got exposed to budgeting and owned my own project budget. My learning in this position was very rewarding and I felt proud that our team finished the rollout on time and within the planned budget. I successfully led two larger city rollouts, after which I was recruited to Ride for More, a ride sharing provider with headquarters in Berlin, Germany. At Ride for Me, I have been taking care of the operations manager role now for two and a half years. My responsibilities include everything from fleet management to OPEX management to scaling for growth. During my time, we have managed to reduce our OPEX percentage while increasing the already good reliability levels. Now we have given a summary of our work positions while keeping the answer blanked in a reasonable and engaging level. In case you have five or ten different positions or companies, pick the most relevant ones for this position and combine experiences. The key here is that you stick with the two to three minutes time for the answer. And finally, three, the end. At the end of the answer, you will summarize with one sentence the fact that you see yourself as a good fit for the role in question. This is the round off the answer and to make it evident that it relates to the position in question. In summary, given my strong operations background, and relevant industry experience with a strong record, record with rapid growth companies, I'm confident 
that I will be able to provide solid results in this position. So now you're ready to craft your own answer to this interview question that always shows up and is crucial to master. And in case you're interested in preparing for other top interview questions, download my free copy of the top 10 interview questions and answers. The link you can find below in the video description or up here. If you found this video useful, give it a like, share and subscribe for future videos to accelerate your career. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.